Satie, everybody. Hi. I'm Elena or Lada Deluxe that's here on Fridays. And today is Friday. That means Fridays are a drag. And we're doing this fabulous, very bubilicious look. <laughs> Jimbo, the drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. All Stars Season 8 Entrance Look. Yes, I chose Jimbo because, you know, she's just fun. She's funny. And I love the pink look. I saw on Instagram, like, pink look. That's me. So we're going to be doing this. On this channel, I do drag looks, uh, just artistic makeup looks and face paint. I've been on Painted with Raven Season 2, so check me out on Blow Presents Plus. I'm still there. <laughs> So, without further ado, like, subscribe, comment, and the notification bell. And let's get right into this fabulous tutorial. So, we'll start with the usual way, the foundation. I already got a little something pink on myself. I don't have pink for her. This is the look we're going for, of course, from a promo shot, but you know, we'll make do. So I'm using my True Skin Catrice Foundation in 046 Neutral Toffee just because my usual one that I try to pan might be a little too dark and Jimbo is a very pale queen. I mean, she's Canadian. This is a very good match for me anyway. So I'm mixing my usual Kim Chi Shake the most concealers medium beige and white and we're doing just a basic highlight pretty much all the fun part comes when it's time to contour she has like a very particular way she contours nose and notice so let's do brows with a cream i'm going to use my aesthetica palette ombre them see I really like this palette. I pants on one shade already. So we're gonna start with a lighter shade. There's nothing very particular about her eyebrows. They're very rounded. There's no like even arch. It's just like one line. Very smooth. I'm pretty sure she used to have some different before because you know everybody has a glow up after a pulse drag race. Because she used to be dragged, <laughs> dragged for makeup. And now she is well more defined. I think this one is higher than the other one. Now uh, use the same palette to counter. Now Jimbo actually looks very pretty, like out of drag. I looked at her pictures, as a boy pictures. She's very attractive. I mean, it's her aesthetic clown, clown drag, but and her drag pictures have been very pretty too. I mean, very elevated. But what I'm trying to say, I think she's got kind of heavy chin here. So not a double chin, but I've seen some views like from below and you can see a little like heaviness here. So I might want to create that instead of uh, a real contour in my chin the way I usually do. I don't even know why I'm contouring my forehead because there's going to be bangs there. I just like, I can't not, you know, when I do drag, even if I wear bangs, like I have to contour my forehead, it just puts me off if I don't. So I'm going to use the brow brush and I'm going to add myself with just a little bit of a, not quite double chin, but it's like a little heavier chin. And she has like deep lines here. See, I'm kind of dragging here, like a chin strap. And drag it up. She has a little bit of dimples going on, I think, just a little bit here. But usually when you contour nose, you contour a dark, dark line and you kind of fade it out this way. But her line is sharp. I see it makes sense to make the nose look smaller, like it cuts it off and it's where the shadow lands, so kind of makes sense. So I'll try to do that. So that side is not going to be blended. So instead, we're going to blend it in, in towards the middle. And I'm going to use another brush just to kind of fade it in. And we'll use a little lighter tone to the, uh, use in the middle. 
Okay, I think we got the base in. So let me set this on off camera because nobody wants to see powder flying and I'll be right back. Contouring with Kimchi Chic Taylor Contour 03 Chocolate and that's my go-to. And we're gonna do just to emphasize all the lines I already drawn. Take a tiny brush, I'm gonna do the nose contour so this line stays sharp. And I'm using just a light shade from Kimchi, by the way. If I find that I want it deeper, like at the end of the video, I might emphasize it a little more, but for now, I just want it lighter. And a little more fluffy brush. I'm going to blend this. So I just baked in the eyes, and we're gonna start with one of my go-tos, and this is Be Perfect and the Vivian Scepter. I'm gonna go with all neutrals. This is all neutral look with a big white grease and I must have posted the picture somewhere already. So there is a good white, there is a great white and black and there is brown. So we're gonna use this brown, this brown, maybe a little bit of this. And that's pretty much it. So starting with the black, we're gonna just draw with a skinny, skinny brush. We're going to draw the crease. Now her crease goes closer to the nose and I think her nose contour starts at the crease like the crease goes into the contour and not the eyebrow so but I have deep set eyes so for me it's gonna be a little more difficult to do that you know it's just those lines never connect <laughs> so it's gonna be kind of a fakery of the same look So I added a little more black in the outer corner and now we're gonna go with uh, cut crease. I'm gonna go with white. And yes, I'm using lipstick. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like I'm using thick lipstick. This is my go-to, the old uh, wet and wild lipstick that's called Ghostly Beans from uh, Halloween. Uh, the only thing is like the advantage, it's so thick. Somehow it comes out better than concealer. Most people have oily eyelids, so probably this wouldn't be good. And we're setting with white from the same scepter palette. And I'm telling you, and I'm telling you this white, white is perfect. It's pretty darn perfect. So I added a little bit under the brow as well, the same white lipstick. And I set this with white. She's got really, really white highlighted brow bone. I like a good white highlight. Do a little blending here with the warmer brown here. I use also half baked color because just a little warmth because the other ones are very neutral like the cookie dough. Just to get a good blend of brown and the warm, warmer tones. So I did some basic uh, eyeliner, just a basic line and this was Wet n Wild eyeliner is very precise. That's a uh, Christmas edition, actually. <laughs> so, anyway, so the low lash line, I'm going to go with gel liner, Beauty Bay. It's pretty much a line, and she didn't even blend it or smudge it or anything. Looks like it's just a line. I did a NYX white pencil on the waterline, and I said it was white eyeshadow. So I wiped off all the bake and now we're gonna add some blush and looks like she's very pink so I might as well use blush from here. Maybe add a little bit of this eyeshadow and call this a day. I think the eye look came out pretty similar to hers. Just with the eyelashes and the whole pink. No, I don't have any pink for her like I said but I do have a pink boa and guess what's gonna be around my face? Pink boa and my white blonde wig. So I put my eyelashes on, that's three at once. Stacked with some small lashes, I don't remember what, but <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna use the ABH lip liner, uh, Raisin. It looks like she's got very warm lipstick, um, not quite pink, like pink-ish. So we'll see what we can do. Fill it in with Dusty Rose Satin Lipstick by BH. <laughs> I 
okay, I think we're ready for the outfit. And by the way, I didn't mention it, but I got the blue contacts in. I have like exact same color, it turns out. Turns out because I ordered it like over a year ago and they wore it because it's kind of odd. But I'm like digging them for cosplay. So I'll be right back. And she's here. Jimbo the Clown. <laughs> the entrance look to All Stars Season 8. And now I'm not showing my hands because I couldn't be <laughs> bothered with the nails at the moment. I was going to, but I kind of forgot, so I'm not going to show my ratchet hands. But the boobs are here. I do have the breastplate. It's not as big as Jimbo's, but you know, we got what we got from Amazon. The budget version, as usual. <laughs> this channel has the budget version of drag queens. <laughs> because painted with Raven is no... <laughs> no drag race. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of living for this. You know, my favorite part is those contacts I found in a drawer. <laughs> yes, I do have blue eyes, but the contacts kind of make it look silly and all animated. Yeah. Yeah, so this is pretty much stickers, uh, stick on gems from Walmart, the kind of strips, you know. Uh, this is a Bob Wick from Amazon. I just clipped it in a formation. So it kind of sort of looks like those finger waves, but not quite. The budget version again. <laughs> and the boa that I had sitting for years. And yeah, I used to have pink fur. I used to have a pink coat when we lived in New York and it had pink fur on it, but that coat was cheap and not warm enough. So I got rid of it. Should have kept the fur, but you know, should have, would have, <laughs> but there you go. Oh yeah, that's the earmuffs I used to wear in New York too. <laughs> I'm a crafty queen, what can you say? <laughs> My favorite part is contacts in the boa. The boa would like live it for it. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. I love Jimbo. She's funny as heck. So yeah, hopefully I did her proud. Hopefully she notices me. Most likely she won't. She's too big of a star, but maybe she will. So Thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> Leave me a comment, like this video if you enjoyed it, and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Uh, follow me on social media, all the links are down in the description box. I love you all, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next fabulous video. Oh, Sorry for the <laughs> Bye!